Hello and welcome to another Microsoft Excel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will going to learn how you can add rows and columns to an Excel worksheet. So here I have an Excel worksheet. Whichever place you want to write, you will you would like to enter a new row or a new column, you first need to go to that place. And whenever you insert a new column, it will always be inserted to the left and uh, the row will always be inserted above. And one way to do that is on the Home tab, you have the Insert option. So if you click on the drop-down arrow, you have an option of inserting rows, columns, sheets, cells. All of them are right here in one place. So if I would like to insert a row, I can simply click on Insert Sheet Rows, and it basically inserts a row for me. Similarly, I can go down here, and I would like to insert a sheet column. And you can notice, same place, when I click on it, it inserts a column to the left. In another tutorial, I've already covered how you can merge cells, but we're going to try that again here. So we're going to select all these cells. Now people ask, how do you go about doing this? One way to do that is you press and hold the left click on the starting cell, and then you keep moving while holding your left click in the direction in which you want to do your selection. Another way to do that, which is easier, is you click on the starting cell then you simply take your mouse on the destination cell do not click anywhere in between when you reach your destination cell now you press and hold the shift button on the keyboard and you left click and everything will going to be selected from start to left once you make a selection you can simply click on merge and center and this allows you to merge all the cells and put them right in the center also if you want to do the same thing with the columns, you can do the exact same thing. You can go to your destination cell and you can press and hold the shift and you can click. This allows you to select all of them. Now you have more options to merge. If you click on the arrow next to the merge and center, you can also do merge across, merge cells, unmerge cells. So if I want to do such a simple merge cells, it allows me to merge them without doing center align. Once I have done these basic things, let me show you that one more thing that you can do is you can increase the row height. Simply bring your mouse between the two numbers that separate rows. And on that line, if you pull down, it will going to allow you to give a little bit more height to a row. So that's how pretty much you go about doing things with rows. Now, if I want to put some data here, for example, Abby's Parts Place. And then I can simply click on it, go under Cell Styles, and I can pick a style. Now this is another place, a very, very helpful place. If you want to really quickly style things, this is a place to come. Where you can simply grab items from the list, and then you can see how they appear. Or if you would like, you can format right from here as well. So we're going to put Abby's parts place for now here. And over here, we will going to put year 2018 and press enter. So as you notice, when I put year 2018, it is all the way to the baseline of the cell. The reason is in the alignment group, we have three sets of vertical alignments, bottom, top, middle exactly the same way we have three horizontal alignments left center and right so abby's parts place is currently at the bottom of the cell space and it is in the center i can move it middle center i can move it top center so between these combinations you have total of nine different combinations that you can make between the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment now year 2018 which is actually placed in this vertical column I would like to move it or make it come diagonally. So for that purpose, in Microsoft Excel, it allows you to use this option over here called orientation. Now you click on it and it allows you to choose angle counterclockwise, angle clockwise, vertical text, rotate, rotate down, up. You have multiple options of doing that. Upon selecting an option, for example, if I say rotate text up, notice how this text appears. This is a beautiful thing 
that you can use in a lot of the Excel sheets. And then if I increase the size of this to let's say 20, here it appears a little bit larger. Same thing I can do with Abby's Place. I can make it 20 as well and it appears like that. So this is how you can merge cells and you can insert rows, insert columns, and in the next tutorial we're going to format this a little bit more. So I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.